Hello, hello. Alrighty. I've had a lot of people ask me about my Carbon Micro H little FPV setup I made. Uh, so yeah, I figured I'd make a video. I haven't done this before. So if it sounds stupid or if I get something wrong, please let me know. Uh, you know, we can always change it. Change something, change anything. Uh, if I do make a mistake, you know, I'm new at this stuff. Definitely am not an engineer. I started back in November playing around with these things. Started learning to fly them and man, I love it. Yeah, I got online, learned everything, mainly asking questions on Reddit. Uh, a lot of good people over there. And that's who this video is for. Uh, a bunch of guys asking, you know, what's here, what's this, how's it look, what's it do? So this is that. I just got done work, reworking the FPV side of things on this. I did have it running off of the uh, just little one cell 160 milliamp nanotech which wasn't bad but you know when I go to fly it I don't want to have to worry about two batteries so I tried to implement the FPV all on you know the same battery I was having issues you know with the static so anytime I throttle up man you, you couldn't even really see the video so I got online looked at doing the LC filters and which wasn't well it, okay let's say it, it didn't look hard but apparently it was it took me three different tries uh, I tried over you know the past week to get it done I finally gave up that's why I went to the one battery or the two battery setup come home from work today said I'm not gonna let it beat me tried it again and it, man it works flawless right now so I'm pretty happy about that you know every little victory is great so also got the 750s in uh, 750 milliamp nanotechs I've heard good things about these uh, Benedict had just did a review on the mylipo.de 430s so I've, I ordered a bunch of those as well so hopefully they get here soon but anyway we'll go straight to the quad first things first alien we uh, got really lucky happened to get one of these in uh, just about a week or two ago uh, man, I mean I love it it's definitely nice to have something that flies like a big quad and something this size so as soon as uh, they get some more in yeah, I'm planning on trying to buy a couple more well we'll go right off the back start off you know I replaced the battery cable just come off with a little split obviously one side goes to the FPV one side goes to the battery and the FPV side goes straight into a Palolu or a Palulu however you say it, it's a 3.3 volt step up step down because it's what I had in a box. Uh, I do realize they have the 3.3 volt step downs that probably a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, but really, you know, a half a gram, I don't think that's going to change too much. And I uh, will see something to change out later. So this is where I was having my problems. I could not for the life of me get the LC filter set up to work. I come in today, space things out a little bit better, uh, set down remade the inductor made my fingers hurt afterwards but it looks pretty goes right into a 16 volt 470 micro farad capacitor uh, again I have no rhyme or reason it's what I read online so that's why you have that we'll flip it over goes right into a 200 milliwatt uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter I think I got that from range video yeah rangevideo.com it's a 3.3 volt version they also have a 5 volt version I went with a smaller one just for size reasons I guess but I mean for 14 bucks you can't really beat it uh, right now they're not in stock so if you want one start looking you know hopefully they get them back in stock I've got two and man it's definitely nice to have them uh, bought a little cloverleaf antenna and again cheap a lot better than the antenna that comes with it but <clears throat> on this side I've got you know the the camera just piggybacks right onto the battery lines coming in so one and a half gram camera that's 520 TV line uh, pretty good for what it is I, I love it the reason I got for this one was the size it has 10 millimeter thickness 
and 10 millimeters is the size of the little spacers that come with the frame and man it just makes it look slick I love it uh, other than that see we got the motors the uh, dark editions what's a CL 08 20 17s quick little things micromotor warehouse I probably paid Benedict's light bill quite a few times now but I love those motors I've had some people suggest the 15s would be better for this little FPV thing I don't know I've ordered them they haven't showed up yet so as soon as they get here I put those on we'll see how those do uh, Walker Ladybird props again I've had people tell me the Hubsons would probably be better I don't have any on hand. I actually gave my Hubson to my little brother not too long ago, so uh, I hope you're enjoying that loop, by the way. But anyway, the I mean, propellers are propellers to me. They fly great so far. So other than that, you know, there there's not much left. It's pretty simple setup. Most of it's plug and play. Uh, the receiver, satellite. I'm not sure. I'm new. I'm new, I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah, this this actually come on it. So again, I got lucky, because I don't think that's supposed to happen. But I ordered some Lemon RX, and they haven't arrived either. So I guess slow boat from China probably, but they'll be here eventually, hopefully before I get my next Alien Wii boards. But other than that, we'll put it back together fly around and see if I can get some video catch you later uh, by the way you know again disclaimer I'm nowhere near professional expert anything even close to that so if anything doesn't look right you know looks wrong it might be it probably is so just you know let me know in the comments or come on over to reddit you know our multicopter a lot of us there it's a good community Catch you later. Yeah, I figured I'd jump back in real quick just to uh, answer one more question. I'd been asked how I had everything laid out in here. All I've got left to do is to put the four screws back in to hold the plates together and put the motors, you know, just plug the motors into the FC on each corner. So this is kind of what I ended up doing. Uh, it's a little tight in there, but I took the Lemon RX receiver and took it off the top of the FC sorry let me get something here it was on top of the FC so I removed it and stuck it on the top plate in the back here just connected with the cable obviously uh, the little 3.3 volt step up down is uh, just a little one little bead of hot glue to tack it in uh, same thing here I don't know if you can see it but anyway, the uh, the inductor, same thing, a little bead of hot glue tacking in on the top, capacitor in the front, so it's all four just kind of lined out across the top there. And the only thing on the bottom plate is the FC, the inductor just kind of lays in the center. And it all just matches up fairly nicely. And rubber bands, obviously, just to hold on the batteries. And, I don't know, it's about the best I could do without wanting to put everything on the outside of the frame oh sorry without putting everything on the outside of the frame so I don't know if anybody had any better ideas you know just let me know later again